Now in Australia, you have to wear a helmet. It's just the law. Unfortunately, it's not always ideal if you're just popping to the shops. It does discourage people from using bikes as often as they should here in Australia. But it's a good thing if you're on a long ride. And bells are optional. So we're eventually we're off setting up, get the seat height high enough. Michelle's next to me. Michelle doesn't like to get cold. So she's wearing uh, a woolly. It's a gorgeous day though. So get the seat nice and high. So my legs extend nice and straight on the pedal. Get rid of the odd squeak. These bikes haven't been ridden for a little while. So I don't know about you. Are you feeling puffed already? I've only done uh, a few hundred yards and I'm feeling exhausted already. Now I don't know about what we might have saw, but I know one sore thing. I'm gonna have a sore backside at the end of this. But no pain, no gain. Oh, a downhill stretch, a down slope stretch. Over a little bump, over another bump, oh, oh. over a big bump. If you're a cyclist, and I actually am a cyclist from, from years back, you'll know if you get off the saddle for a long time, in this case a couple of years, and you get back on, it's really nice to be on the bike, but you are going to, you're going to pay the next day with a sore bum, doesn't matter how soft your seat is, the old glutes are gonna pay for it. But it's all part and parcel of getting a little fitter. You see, those girls are not wearing helmets. Hey girls, no helmets on, eh? Yeah. Sorry. Hello girls. Where are you heading, down the beach? Yeah. And you girls aren't wearing them, that's not fair. And you're always tempted not to, but they do hand fines out. So, better safe than sorry. Well, now we're gonna have to go onto the road. Gardeners, out there in the gardens. Now, we're on, technically, the wrong side of the road here. Now, we're breaking the law. No hands. We're gonna pull into our favorite little cafe down here. Now I say it's our favorite cafe. <laughs> I haven't actually been here for what, two years, maybe a little longer. So I'm hoping it's still here because we're gonna stop before we head down to the coast for a quick coffee and maybe a little bite to eat. Oh, the sunny seats are taken up. All the seats in the sun are gone. Maybe we'll ask them to put us out some extra seats. I see some in the back there. Here you go, the girls. <laughs> bit of hat hair, bit of hat hair. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. What is that? That is a marble cake. Marble cake, yeah? yeah. Pistachio nuts, marble. Yeah, pretty good. I yeah. Like yesterday. All right. What is this on the end here? Oh, that's a fudge slice. Yeah, we get one of those, I reckon. Man, this place is busy. It should be as well. It's a really good cafe. Show, show me those. <laughs> What's your name? Amy. Amy. Is this your place, Hi. Amy? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'll give you the link to the vlog, eh? Yeah, thanks. Makes me wish I had sugar in my coffee. It's lovely, lovely raw sugar. Hello, sweetheart. You are looking gorgeous, aren't you? They look great. Maple, sit. Oh, that's gla glamour yeah, pause, is it? Yeah. yeah, turn around, give us your good side, sweetheart. What's her name? Mabel. Hello, Mabel. <laughs> oh, you sit. look. Oh, who's this with the with your one eye there, hey? Who's this? Is it a cocker spaniel or a, yeah? A little cocker. That's a West Highland Terrier. That's a, West, a Westie. Beautiful. Elvis. <laughs> Elvis? Elvis is, Elvis is on the premises. Uh, Elvis. And this is Maxwell. Maxwell. Hey, Maxie. They've all just been, they've all been in for a trim. Well, looking good. Look 
cakes have arrived, look, while I was uh, chatting up the dogs. Uh, yeah, turn it around. How pretty. Now that's pretty. I've got a uh, Mars bar slice. You've got a fudge brownie, a fudge chocolate brownie. Cheers. Just a little rest. Put on some calories before we burn them off. So, we put the calories on. Now we've got to burn them off. Get down just over here from Flock. That's Flock Cafe, by the way, is the coast, coastal road. Now you've seen this road uh, that I filmed, or this pathway, this coastal path in, from St Kilda, all the way up here to uh, the Mornington Peninsula. So this is to keep the motorbikes out. So now we're on the coastal path. How are you? I'm good. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, going the wrong way. Mornington. <laughs> so this is nice. This is downhill. Got the coastal path here. Got the uh, Port Phillip Bay. I think it's still Port Phillip Bay there, isn't it, Michelle? So we've got one of these little lookout areas. There's a bench and that is why we've got the lookout. Look how gorgeous that is. I don't know if you can see down how clear the sea is today, how clear the water is. You can see right down to the rocks. Now Melbourne city is over that way. And this all the way along here is the Mornington Peninsula. Beep beep. Thank you. Pedestrians, watch your step. <laughs> Thank you. Good day. Oh, good. So you can see that bell, although it's optional, is really useful. Okay, I think we're supposed to be on the road on this section because you'll see, although there's parking to the left of me. There's also, just up here, you can see there's uh, bike markings on the road. Just going past the, the bowls club. There's loads of uh, cafes and restaurants. Now this is the Mornington Park, the beachfront park. It's absolutely beautiful. Reserve 1863. Oh, there's a play park, a kiddies play park over there, shaped like a, a sailing ship. Even Michelle's stripping off. It's getting warm. She's taking a, a big coat off. Now, Michelle would rather be, let's take this hat off. She'd rather be on the warm side rather than the chilly side. The old hat hair. I love this park. It's got this lovely old, um, stone archway coming in and they've got these great little safety locks so the kids can't run out you've got to use two hands you've got to be an adult to get out of here thank you michelle <laughs> go on in you go first and it clunks click and the kids are all safe oh man i wish i was seven again yeah, so do I. be up there <laughs> yeah. yeah, pick and choose. If we could pick and choose, and we're off, and we're off. Not complete without a Gelletti ice cream van. Now down here is a really nice pier. The last time, a couple of years ago when I was here, they were taking it, uh, repairing it, so it was all shut off. I'm hoping it's all open up. For sure. The pier's open again, means the fishermen will be back on the pier, which is great. I mean, I, my, uh, I've, I've fished off this pier before. It's got a great atmosphere. 
good bunch of uh, fishermen that meet down here. Great cafe just to the side, the rocks. Bit of parking, 2P parking. I think it's all free, hopefully. Hopefully they haven't started charging. Bay fishing trips. Now they've taken up all, this used to be all timber here. So they've taken all the timber up, put in a concrete slab, replaced all the old timbers. So that's uh, an improvement. You've been in? You guys been in? Yeah. Is it nice, huh? Yeah. It's not cold? A little bit nippy, but... Oh, man. They've changed this pier up since we came here. They were repairing it a couple of years ago. Are you locals? Yeah. yeah. It's all right, isn't it? They've done a good job. Yeah. So back up the hill. And this is the base of Mornington High Street. I smell fish and chips. I can't even see where I can smell fish and chips from. Man, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's a great little chocolate shop down there. Then we have to go down Adelaide Street. Oh, that's... Do we go down that one? Yeah, Adelaide Street. How long before I, I lose a camera doing this vlogging, I wonder? Probably not that long. Everyone's out uh, doing their lawns because the weather's so nice. A couple of hours in the saddle. It's making my bum sore. I think I'm actually going to sign off on this log now so that was a little look around Mornington on the Mornington Peninsula the town of Mornington on the Mornington Peninsula I hope you've enjoyed it share this across with your friends on Facebook on YouTube and any social media and uh, we'll see you soon take care you follow Till it leads you back home You'll find that the answer is yes